Hey guys, it's Josiah. Um, I apologize in advance for my voice being kind of out of it, but I've been kind of sick for the last couple days. So, anyways, I haven't made a video in a little while, and uh, <clears throat> I actually just got back from Best Buy, and I had an unboxing here. Um, it's the Griffin Eye Trip, and for those of you who saw my previous unboxing, you're probably wondering what what's going on there and why I bought another one. But uh, I actually ended up. <clears throat> returning it. Um, if you remember, it was the one that plugged into the cigarette lighter and then had the little rectangle in the middle, which was what you used to tune it. And then, obviously, the other end was just a, a standard headphone jack, which plugged into the iPod. And uh, my reason for getting that one was because <clears throat> I didn't know if I'd end up using more than just an iPod uh, to listen to in the, in the car, but I ended up returning it just because the noise level was ridiculous. Um, you would turn on the windshield wipers and it would play through the speakers. You would turn on, I mean, literally the blinkers, the fans, the, like the heater fans, um, shifting gears even, would uh, it would automatically go through the speakers. So I was, I was kind of disappointed with it. When it worked, it sounded pretty good, but it still sounded like a really weak FM station. So I ended up just bringing it back and, uh, and I ended up getting <clears throat> the one with the standard iPod connection at the end there. And I know in my last video I had said that I would try to stick with just a universal one. But um, I honestly, I don't think I'm going to be switching from an iPod for a while, if I ever do. So um, let me unbox this real quick. Um, I'm going to have another couple videos coming up later on tonight. Um, but I wanted to give this a test out and actually get a review for it up as qu as quickly as I could. Um, so, yeah, real quick, I'm going to unbox it, and then <clears throat> hopefully I'll have a couple more videos coming soon. So, here we go. In typical John and Echo fashion, here's my smallest knife. This is actually my smallest knife, so nothing quite like butcher knife size. Again, I apologize for my voice here, but I've been feeling a little under the weather lately. Um, Alright, so here we have what plugs into the iPod, if you can see it alright. Um, as you can see, that's just your standard proprietary iPod jack. And then, <clears throat> what it came with... This is actually a USB charger, and if you buy the Griffin, uh, I forget what it's called, but basically it's it's similar to what I had before. It plugs into your cigarette lighter, and then you can see on the other end here, it just has like your mini USB connector on the other end, and uh, that plugs into the little, little bit right there, port, I guess. Um, but I'm probably not actually going to end up using this, so... I don't know. I'll keep it in just in case. And then, uh, I assume these are probably spacers. I can't really tell. Actually, I can take it out right now. Um. So, maybe if one of you guys can tell me what it is, or... <clears throat> I don't know. Either way. I'm going to go ahead and give this a little try. Um, I'm pretty familiar with how the last one worked. So, the way that it worked, actually, it's kind of cool. Uh, it made sense, and I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to use it until I, uh, go figure, read the instructions. And it said to find two stations and tune between them. So, the furthest away from either station that you could get, that would give you the strongest or, like, the best, the best sound. So, once I learned how to do that, Again, like I said, the noise level was pretty bad, but the quality that it came through was, was pretty good, considering it is radio. So, um, I'm going to try this one out, and I'll let you guys know what I think, and I'll have a couple more videos coming. So, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for the comments, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.